क्वेश्चन नंबर 111 हाउ मेनी ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लांट्स हैव प्रेजेंस ऑफ डाइमॉर्फिक क्लोरोप्लास्ट इन देयर लीव्स डाइमॉर्फिक मींस टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट एंड टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट आर प्रेजेंट इन C4 लीव्स और यू कैन से C4 प्लांट्स बिकॉज़ दे हैव मीजोफिल सेल्स एज़ वेल एज़ बंडल शीट सेल्स इन द मीजोफिल सेल्स you will find the normal chloroplast or you can say the granal chloroplast which have grana and in the bundle sheath cells you will find the a granal chloroplast they don't have grana now so they have dimorphic chloroplast so you have to find the c4 plants wheat c3 maize c4 tomato c3 sorghum c4 bell pepper c3 rice c3 sugarcane c4 how many of them are c4 three that are maize sorghum and sugarcane so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question Question number one hundred and twelve. Z scheme of photosynthesis occurs in stroma lamellae only. The cyclic photophosphorylation or the cyclic flow of electrons occurs in stroma lamellae only. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation or the Z scheme takes place in grana thylakoids. Z scheme operates at low light intensity. No, it is not true for the Z scheme. It is true for the cyclic photophosphorylation. Z scheme operates at high or the optimum light density. It involves a photosystem two only. No, Z scheme involves both photosystem one as well as two. Fourth one, it requires an external source of electrons. Yes. that's why it is called non cyclic photophosphorylation because there is no cyclic flow of electrons electrons from the external source are required so the correct option for the given question is option number 4 let's move to the next question question number 113 the first action spectrum of photosynthesis was described by using which of the following organisms First action spectrum of photosynthesis was described by T. W. Engelmann, and he used Cladophora plus some aerobic bacteria. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and fourteen. Which of the following processes does not contribute in the formation of proton gradient across the thylakoid membrane? According to chemiosmotic theory, proton gradient is required for formation of ATP or to synthesize ATP. So the main motor of photosynthesis is to synthesize food, but before that, we have to synthesize the chemical energy in the form of atp and that process cannot be completed by setting the proton gradient so proton gradient is maintained or proton gradient can be formed with the help of photolysis of water towards lumen true transfer of proton from stroma to lumen true reduction of nadp plus towards the stroma true movement of proton from lumen to stroma through cf not of atp synthetase no this is not correct why because through this process atp is synthesized not the proton gradient is established so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 Let's move to the next question. Question number one hundred and fifteen. Plants like amaranthus have Crohn's anatomy in their leaves. So you have to identify whether this plant amaranthus is a C three or a C four plant. Let me tell you, amaranthus is a C four plant. So C four plants have Crohn's anatomy in their leaves. So yes, it is true. They show oxygenase activity of rubisco. No, because oxygenase activity of rubisco leads to the photorespiration and photorespiration is absent in c4 plants third lack chloroplast in bundle sheet cells no they have a granal chloroplast in the bundle sheet cells fourth one lack photochemical phase is the synthesis of food or the carbohydrates which occurs in c4 plants so this is incorrect so the correct option for the given question is option number 1 let's move to the next question 